higher one. Today we are going to study about biosphere. Biosphere is the final unit of your grade level. Right, what is biosphere? Bio means living. Sphere, it's a three dimensional object. Very simply, biosphere means the sphere which consists living organism. That is the name given to Earth. Earth has several names. Such blue planet is a special name given to Earth because water consisting, because of its water consisting. Right. As well, another name given to the Earth is biosphere. So, you might think why the entire Earth needs animals, plants, water. What will happen if I remove some of this? For Let's consider the animal snake. Snake is poisonous, right or not? It is poisonous. It could harm us. We always fear if there is a snake, it is useless for all because it is a dangerous animal. It is always spreaded. Always, uh, this, uh, all the areas it is spreaded. What will happen? It always used to damage or harm human. So, if you think that snake is not important to the environment, so you might think this snake, if, if we remove all the snake around it, so what will happen if we remove all the snake from the environment? There is an issue. For example, if we remove all the snakes from the environment, the number of rats in the environment will increase. So there is such interesting. How rats will increase? The rats will increase because snakes, snake, they consume rats. If you kill all the snake, the number of rats will increase. Even the controlling of rats is maintained by who? It is maintained by is maintained by the snakes. So environment is balanced always. Whatever the animal present in earth, earth surface, is dependent on someone, is a chain, it is somewhere on the chain. It is maintaining the environment. It has so an equilibrium built within it. This equilibrium which maintains the stability of environment, we call it the environmental equilibrium. What is environmental equilibrium? The balanced favorable relationship between organisms and the physical environment is referred to as the environmental equilibrium. So, a specific environmental equilibrium is given below. Here it is actually a food web. Even every organism in this earth is maintained by other animals. If we reduce the number of snakes, the number of rats will increase. If we reduce the number of deers, the number of shrub and grasses will increase. This is it. The environment is fully balanced.